Hi people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the new month of August, right? So uh, this one, it's uh, hopefully going to be a better month because last month was extremely uh, tough in terms of weather conditions and all that and then economy wise. So hopefully we're all going to do better this month. Let's uh, pray, you know, for everybody's uh, well-being. All right. So today I have two uh, reviews. Okay. I wanted to do actually three, but then, you know, it's a... Uh, early morning 5 25 i'm planning to go for morning walk later uh, around like 6 a.m so i'm gonna do just two video so first episode i'm gonna be doing a fragrance for house of hermes um, hermes fragrances i usually do not buy that many because one thing they are not very available here and they don't have that many releases to be honest like many other houses like paco Rabanne or jean paul they are more frequent in releasing so this one it's i think from the back in the time about eight years old 2015 perhaps <clears throat> and i think it's a jean claude elena uh creation it's called i don't know how to say this name properly uh but this line I, this is my third or fourth uh video so this is called le jardin de monsieur lee i think perhaps that's the name uh i actually know the other ones were un jardin sur le nil i still have the smaller bottle somewhere and then one more i think and i did also sur le toit if possible I'm, I'm not sure but i did two to three before okay so this is not un jardin this is le jardin okay so same line and this is actually from back in the days this bottle i don't know if this is going to be the case with everybody but i see and this is how i bought the bottle this was about this much juice missing or i don't i don't remember if this actually was always full or it's supposed to come like this okay we'll talk about it it's a beautiful scent it's a beautiful unisex perfume for summer and spring and a very beautiful packaging uh, prices on these have gone high um Hermes was never really a budget house. Like you're looking always were like about 80, 85 bucks. This is actually under $100. So I think these bottles, I don't know the bottle size. I have 100 ml standard here. And this, the packaging, if, and why I know this is an older batch because the coloration I think on this has gone off. Like it used to be brighter color. I think uh, the color has faded over years. Okay. So that's how that looks. EDD concentration. The writings are also very faint now. It's uh, 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounces. Side. Um, back up there to say Hermes okay Hermes basically has a uh, like newer fragrance are H24 you know like uh, more of the other fragrances that comes out I also did quite uh, you know decent amount of Hermes but Hermes always like surprised me with their quality even if I did not like the scent profile they were very unique so this is how the bottle looks in real life it looks really pretty as well as the photo if you see the photo on fragrant ticker they, they will have a very nice looking bottle this I think is painted at the base and up there it's kind of like transparent the name of the fragrance un jardin uh, le de mosio le okay so the juice color i'm not quite sure if it's yellow maybe okay but the juice missing i am a bit concerned about that you know like uh, maybe that that's how the bottle is to come okay and then here the batch board and all that to match the box cap it's simple it has a plastic cap but looks nice it's very very light cap okay it doesn't have much weight and uh, i am wearing this fragrance on my hand right now the dry down is beautiful let's spray some here okay a couple of spritz nice sprayer so this is not a brand new release and this one has a few notes mentioned on fragrant not so much okay so this is like a kumqua and jasmine mint and green sap so i did uh, test it for a few days and i'll tell you one thing this fragrance is a one of a kind okay uh let's talk about the negatives let's talk about the weaknesses then we'll talk about the positives uh the negatives if i have to talk about first thing it's a kind of like a unisex fragrance okay this is not everybody's cup of tea like some people may look for the most masculine and macho scent this is not it okay one thing second thing the longevity and projection on this is kind of like uh like you know some of the other hermes fragrances which are lighter in nature like they behave light they wear light but creates a very nice freshy sort of vibe this is a freshy so longevity and projection it's more on like above average okay not so beast mode okay uh, third thing i would like to say this fragrance it's not um the scent profile wise it's not the most uh, trending kind of a scent profile currently in 2023 and that's not a fault of this perfume every year every fragrance is out they have their own trend going this fragrance is i think it's not following any sort of trend it, it's doing its own thing so I, I will tell you this one is definitely not blind by worthy. This is something you test first. If you find it somewhere, give it a try. These are fragrances a bit rare. So when you try them, if you like them, take them. And another thing is the prices are a little bit on the higher side. Okay. 
if you pay 85 to 100 something dollars you better uh, make sure you do not blind buy and like this scent okay so this fragrance reminds me of aqua de parma house a little bit with the performance is a little bit better than aqua de parma but it's above average not so crazy so those are the things i can think of could be a uh, weakness of this fragrance now talking about positive the way it smells when i smelled it for the first time yeah, first thing i got was not the kumquat or like the orangey that 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 orange i don't know it's, it's what uh, kumquat is kind of like a citrus uh, fruit right so it's not really orange or mandarin it's a different kind of uh, uh, orange but i did smell that before uh, like in shopping malls and stuff back in the days but this is not the first thing that hits me this thing it's incredibly like a fresh green scent to my nose more than florals more than citrus i i'm hit with that greenness okay when i smell this a fresh uh, kind of like the green sap they talk about and i smell that i think uh, this this kind of a dna in this house itself like hermes does this kind of a uh, jean claude elena this kind of does this kind of a fragrances and imagine like fragrance like lacoste uh, essential or something like those but better more natural quality this is kind of like that fragrance it's not a vetiver but it's kind of the greenness so first green dew in the morning like on the grass or the plants first thing you wake up you smell the freshness this is a fresh dew scent okay and i just absolutely love it it wakes up your senses something like mugler cologne does you know with that neroli i think this fragrance does the same purpose okay it's like a green fresh uh, dewy kind of fragrance and uh, i can definitely tell you this is not a fragrance that you have to have okay it's the kind of fragrance when you have it smells different than many other fragrances that you own i do not have that many fragrances that is common with this one okay some people said it's not so unique i think it has some uniqueness especially if you compare this with releases nowadays you will not find any fragrance that smells like this like it's almost 10 years old right so it is unique on its own right <clears throat> so when to wear it i think it's very pleasant to wear in the morning indoors if you're going out like you know if you're a lady you can wear this it, it, it's like very light clothing light color clothing you know in high heat and if the sun is unbearable you want to wear something light you don't want to wear something like a montal or you know something very strong joe boy perry no uh, those are different um, weather conditions this is for beautiful spring fresh you know like when it's raining you know like when you wear i think ted hermes oh refresh you know that's the same time when you wear this you can wear this with uh you know enjoying cup of tea okay like a green tea or something like a i don't know white tea uh, some exotic floral tree uh, tea because this one has some florals and they pop out on the heart like heart it's kind of like a floral so they did mention jasmine and mint i did not per se get any that that much of mint i do have some mint fragrances but this is more like a green floral scent to my nose with a little bit like a white lily perhaps or something like gardenia fresh so i smell this dna before in some women's perfume so i think this is leaning like 60 towards women 40 towards men if i have to imagine like a number but it's a stunning fragrance fragrance do not have any uh, like gender barrier or anything for me i would wear this easily any day but i would not suggest this to people who are looking for a masculine dark strong uh like a, you know manly man scent this is not it okay so there you go that is the breakdown for me uh, i think this is gonna be perfect for people who do not like loud fragrances but they just like to wear something that's light on their skin and you know they just go out and they just want to be like understated you know so this is understated beauty so this is something like i would try before you buy i don't know if it's discontinued or not but um, the perfumer he is like a master in like jacques cavalier you know or him you know these guys are well known well established uh, jacques cavalier or uh, you know like any of these you know jean claude elena jean claude elena did a lot of dead hermes many of the other hermes fragrances they are master perfumers so if you are familiar with their work and if you trust their previous ones if you like their previous releases you can try okay i'd love to try the laguna or there's a new there's some new versions of this line i'd love to try them but they're not really easily available right that's the one thing overall my rating on this fragrance this smells really stunning 8.5 for the smell but if i talk about overall performance and then you know how safe it is or how uh, uniqueness wise it's also unique but uh, performance category and price wise and third one is the uh, unisex vibe you know that can be a little bit challenging to some people overall my rating on this fragrance is i think i'll give it 7.5 out of 10 okay um if the performance was better i would give it like a solid eight. thank you so much for watching check this fragrance out do not blind by any fragrances these are just reviews for uh reference purposes have a nice day i'll see you soon bye bye